Plus. Catching a ride has never been easier, but is the convenience of clicking a button on your smartphone forcing customers into hidden costs and at the same time ripping off drivers? That's what some Valley Uber drivers are saying, and they spoke to our Matt Galka about the problem. As we increasingly accelerate into a ride share world, companies like Uber will continue to get hit with starts and stops. In Phoenix, Uber drivers are asking the rideshare giant to pump the brakes on what they're calling a scheme to overcharge passengers and underpaid drivers. There's no transparency. In the rider app, you can't even see the charge breakdown. Four Uber drivers spoke with us but wished to remain anonymous in fear of retaliation from Uber. They want to keep driving and thought if they spoke out, the company would end their ability to do that. But they also say the company's pricing and pay structure isn't fair. And it started when the company rolled out upfront pricing. What upfront pricing is, is that when you get in the car, you have already agreed upon a price. Now, that price might be an accurate price or it might be manipulated and it might be uh, a way inflated price. In the Valley, Uber usually sticks to a formula a booking fee, a base fare, a per minute charge, and a per mile charge and then a variable service fee or minimum fare. But the drivers say that price is based on a non-transparent route being used by the company. The way they determine that is best route. Well, whose best route? Is it best for time, best for price, best for speed, um, or what? But in most cases, um, Uber's best route is more expensive than if we used our own GPS. Here are some examples given to us by the drivers, and try to stick with me here because there is some math involved. In this trip, the rider paid $23.48. The driver got $13.03, and Uber got $10.45. The problem, according to the drivers, is that the rider should have been charged less or the driver should have gotten more. Uber was supposed to get 20%. They took about 45% of that particular trip. 265, 95 cents a mile, 9 cents a minute. It can't get any more black and white than that. That's what the customer should pay. That's not what they're paying. The model is very tech and very data driven. ASU professor and data and analytics expert Phil Simon spoke with us about Uber's fare system and the driver's concerns. Simon wrote about Uber's ability to use data to drive revenue, and he says they're not the only ones doing it. Do I know for a fact that Uber is doing something with regard to price discrimination? No, but I would bet on it because they're able to do that. And if you think about it, price discrimination is something that a lot of companies will use. Think about the airlines, right? If I want to buy an airline ticket at the last minute, I'm probably going to pay more, right? Ditto for maybe a concert. Um, in the movie theaters, we typically offer discounts to infants or to senior citizens. So there actually is a decent history of price discrimination in this country, and that doesn't necessarily make it wrong. Harry Campbell, owner of the popular blog The Rideshare Guy, has documented similar cases around the country. We also discovered was basically that Uber is now charging different riders different amounts for the exact same trips. And so where this comes up is let's say you're with friends and you each request a ride or you know you each price out a ride on Uber but don't request it and we're now starting to see that certain people are getting charged different amounts. We reached out to Uber about the driver's concerns. They responded in a statement that reads, "We are consistently working to make earnings more consistent, flexible and dependable for the thousands of drivers in Phoenix using the Uber app while providing more reliable access to transportation at fares." riders can afford. Uber also says they have roundtable discussions both in Phoenix and nationwide to get driver feedback. One of Uber's largest costs is what they pay the drivers and it's no coincidence that they're working on driverless technology along with other companies. Yes, we are independent contractors, but we're also human and we'd like to know why these things are occurring. Where why are we not being paid as fairly? I'm so grateful that my parents would never take an Uber. I I, I would I'd lose my mind if they were overcharged and, and, and the way they're treated and, and the way that it, it's, it's a nightmare. Mm -hmm. These are people. Matt Gelka, Fox 10 News. Now, this issue has been brought up nationwide. A class action lawsuit was filed against Uber over upfront pricing in New York City, alleging the company skimmed more than $7 million from customers in that city alone.